Welcome back. I'm joined now by Kevin Bozarth on behalf of Mesa County Animal Services. And um, this is our pet of the week. This is Jack Frost, who's a very adorable, very curious little kitten. He's been kind of walking around all over, checking things out. Um, so tell us a little bit about his personality. It seems like he's very chill. Yeah, he's very relaxed. He, you can hold him on his back and he'll just chill there and kind of hang out and play with you. and. <laughs> So he's super sweet. Yeah. And he, um, you said, was part of a litter. Yep, he was part of a litter of, I believe it was a litter of six. Mm -hmm. um, him and his family and his mom all came in. They've all been adopted. And uh, he's the only one we got left. Man, you guys, when that's, yeah. So he needs a home. He's yes. ready. It's his time. You could tell he's super curious. Come on, buddy. We got to go back here. But he is super sweet. I mean, literally, you can hold him upside down on his back, and he's just totally chilling, totally cute. And he's got, hope. maybe we can try and show him a little bit. He's got a cute little spot underneath his chin. It's almost like a little goatee, if he's going to be flexible here. Look at this. There we go. He's so cute. Yeah, exactly. Super, super chill. There you go. You can see that little dot right under his chin. Oh, my gosh. He's adorable. And again, I mean, super chill. You're yep. just holding him, just no relax. big problem. Yep. Um, and so I know last time when we had a lot of puppies on, we were talking about the amount of puppies you guys have. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of cats that are up for adoption now? Um, I've got, actually, he's the only one that we've got available for adoption at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I've got another litter of four or five that's going to be coming up soon. They're they're a little too young to go into adoption yet, yeah. um, but they're getting close. Um, they should be ready probably in the next week or so. Okay, yeah. And then I've got a couple adult cats that are going to be going into adoption here pretty soon too. So. Nice. And adult cats, even though kittens are adorable and um, you can spend a whole lifetime with them, adult cats need love too. And um, a lot of times with adult cats, which is nice, you kind of know their behavior mm -hmm. um, versus puppies or kittens when they're still kind of developing. Yeah. Um, so like always, when someone's coming in to check out a kitten or any cat, um, what should they be prepared for in that first meeting? Um, cats are a little bit more simple, mm -hmm. you know, you can come in, visit them. Um, cats are going to do what cats do. Yeah. They just kind of do whatever <laughs> they, they do want. They do what they want. So, you know, we don't really do, I mean, we can do cat to dog introductions, cat to cat introductions. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we generally do, but if you're, yeah. you're concerned about it, we can definitely do that and yeah. see how they react with your current animals. We want them to go home to they're forever home. So. Exactly, where they're, they're going to get along with everyone. Yeah. Versus dogs, I know that's kind of more important to yeah. see how they react. Yeah. 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 But look, uh, guys, I can't get over. He's, he's really a baby. He's just absolutely chilling. Um, and Jack Frost, I know we talk a lot about names and how names come about. Was there a certain reason that he's Jack Frost, or was it? Um, his litter was kind of, we had him around Christmas. They mm -hmm. went into adoption around Christmas. So. We had Jack Frost and Jolly and Kringle. Oh my and gosh. So he's a nice, a nice winter kitty. He's so cute. That was a great shot. Guys, this cat is adorable. Jack Frost is looking for his forever home. And even in the summer, he's going to not melt away. He's ready for you to make his forever family. So uh, thank you so much for bringing him on today. Again, so chill. I mean, he's just a cuddle bug. Um, if you want to meet him, check out Mesa County Animal Services. We'll have all that information on our website, westernsoapnow.com. And we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.